All right, meteorologist Dean Davison, the weather produce, live, weatherblogs.com. Time for a weather outlook. We'll talk. Starting into Monday with clear skies, starting to cloud up here in the northeast from Massachusetts straight down to Virginia. As rain is going to try to build itself into Virginia and then through the northeast. The low pressure is also out in the Dakotas and with snow in the inner mountain west and along the west. parts of the west coast. As we move this along, you see moisture increase. Uh, for Indianapolis, down through Arkansas, severe weather is potentially possible, with damaging winds, hail, and some tornadoes. Then we go into Tuesday, as this front moves closer. may have some isolated wind issues here uh, in the Roanoke Valley. As this thing moves to the east, we get cold air built in, and by the time we get to Friday, we may actually see a little bit of snowfall for parts of New Jersey, so we got to watch that very closely. That'll be going into uh, Saturday morning. Next, system starts moving in. We may have some cold air damming in place on the 11th, which could be some ice-snow mixture here in Roanoke, and that would actually progress into Saturday night into Sunday morning, and then we get heavier snowfall Sunday morning in New Jersey, turning the rain back to snow as the storm moves off the coast. Next system moves in. will be warmer. On the 14th, looking, and then we can move to the next system. Rain to potentially some snow on that one. It's getting pretty far out in the uh, in the model data now, so it becomes less and less likely. But you get another system developed here across Arkansas, which could become something that this cold air moves south into and causes some more issues by mid month. That is one model solution. We're going to go now and pull up the Euro. And of course, you don't see the precipitation as much on the Euro, but we want to see how that may match up with what's going on in the EFS. Well, you get the cold air for Friday, so that would be potentially good for the snow. Then you get the warm air and go back to the cold air. Low pressure develops off the coast on the 10th. And... That could allow uh, definitely some snow there, too. And we do see some of these models coming together for potential systems. So, the Euro is still more bold on the chance of snow than GFS is, but GFS is coming a little more towards the Euro. So, we got to watch this over the next few days here in the Delaware Valley. And here you go with the uh, GFS model closer to the northeast. Show what's going on Thursday now. Friday, there's the snow we're talking about. Saturday, there's the icing and the snow across New Jersey. And it'll be wet on Sunday. As you see, these systems are pretty much matching up on what they're saying. So let's pull some snow totals just off the GFS to see what we could look at if this thing occurs. This would be on Sunday. We would be talking about close to six inches in New Jersey. So we have to kind of watch out for this. I'm not really, like, buying snow totals yet. And it'll be a while before I, I really start even thinking um, that the snow totals could be that. But that's just an early call that, that's putting out in the models. and still are too early to really nail that kind of information down, being Sunday, uh, Monday morning, and that being Friday. By Wednesday, we should have a better handle on amounts, because it's just really early to call that information. And people that do, it kind of, it would kind of be, uh, what do you call it? Uh, inappropriate for meteorologists to really put that information out there. So that's what you got so far, and we will be looking that's a wet wet week here in Roanoke. So keep an eye on it there in the Delaware Valley and Roanoke Valley. We'll keep an eye on it for you here, the weather pros. Meteorologist Dean Davison, thanks for watching.